Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 26. Let's take one more example. As I told you, a g of is not equal to f of g in most of the case. Here we have to prove that with some example. So here we have this function f from r to r and uh, function f is nothing but fx is equal to cos x and function gx is nothing but f gx is equal to 3x square and the domain and codomain is r to r. So to find g of f, g of is nothing but g of fx, correct? g of fx is nothing but g of fx is nothing but cos x. So g of cos x g of cos is nothing but 3 into cos x square is that is 3 cos square x. If I want to find f of g is nothing but f of g x correct that is nothing but f of g x is nothing but 3 x square 3 x square f of 3 x square that is nothing but cos 3x square. So if you see cos 3x square and 3 cos square x both are not same. You can see that 3 cos square x is not same as cos 3x square. That means we can say that g of f is not equal to f of g. And that is proof. Very simple. You just have to find f of g and you have to find g of f and you will see that f of g and g of f are not the same. Logically also if you see if you have two system, one system gives uh, from roll number, sorry from name you get roll number and from roll number you get marks, correct. So this is my register and this is my computer. So if I change the order, if I name I give it to computer. And then if I expect roll number, it won't give full number. So the whole system is changed, right? If you change the order. So both are different. This is output from register goes to computer. And this is output from computer goes to register. This is invalid in our case. But sometimes it works. So they will say f of g may not be equal to g of f. Again, one more question. So that if there is a function a to b and function f from a to b and function g from b to c they are one on one given then we have to prove that g o f from a to c is also one one so let me write this this is a function from a to b there is a function f actually right and this is one on one one on one similarly there is a function g from b to c this is b this is c and this is also 1 over 1. I have to prove that if I get g of f, that is g of fx, that is if I start with a, if I go to c like this, this is also 1 over 1. I have to prove this. This is 1 over 1, yes or no. I have to prove this. I have to prove this is 1 over 1. This is c. Remember what we have told, if there is a function f x, I want to prove it is 1 over 1 over To prove if it is 1 over 1, we assume f of x1 is equal to f of x2. And if we prove and then prove x1 is equal to x2. If you do this way, then that is a 1 over 1 function for 1 over 1. To prove 1 over 1, we assume it is uh, f of x1 is equal to f of x2 and then if we prove x1 is equal to x2 then the function f is 1 over 1. Similarly in this case we will assume g of f of x1 is equal to g of f of x2. We will assume this and then if we can prove that x1 is equal to x2 then g of f is 1 over 1 function. Correct? So what we do? g of f this we have assumed, so g of f is nothing but 
g of f of x1 and this becomes g of f of x2 correct now now since g is 1 over 1 since we know that g is 1 over 1 we are told that if any function if let's suppose g is also 1 over 1 so if this is equal to this this implies this part is equal to this part. see if g is 1 over 1 i can say that if gx1 is equal to gx2 this means x1 is equal to x2 correct so whatever inside g this bracket is equal to this since g is 1 over 1 that is a rule we know see we are told that if, if function g is 1 over 1 so if let's suppose g of k1 is equal to g of k2 then k1 will be equal to k2 then k1 is equal to k2 if g is 1 over 1 here k1 is nothing but here k1 is nothing but f of x1 and k2 is nothing but f of x2 observe carefully g of k1 is equal to g of k2 this implies k1 is equal to k2 if g1 g is 1 over 1 and that we know g is 1 over 1 so if g is 1 over 1 this guy k1 that is f of x1 will be equal to k2 that is f of x2 so we can say that f of x1 is equal to f of x2 why since g was 1 over 1 so i got f of x1 is equal to f of x2 now since f is also 1 over 1 is given f is also 1 over 1 since f is 1 over 1 given we know that if f, f is 1 over 1 and f of x1 is equal to f of x2 then x1 is equal to x2 that rule we know since f is 1 over 1 we can say that x1 is equal to x2 so we have assumed that g of f x1 is equal to g of x2 and then we have proved that x1 is equal to f2 since we have done this we assume that g of f x1 is equal to g of f x2 and we prove that x1 is equal to x2 we can say that g of f is 1 over 1 see try to understand this g of f is 1 over 1 over 1 or not to prove this we will assume that g of f x1 is equal to g of x2 and then if you prove f, x1 is equal to x2 that means g of f is 1 over 1 so we assume that g o f x1 is equal to g o f x2. This g o f I can write as g o f x1 is equal to g o f x2. Now, since g is 1 over 1, and if you know that g is 1 over 1, g if g k1 is equal to g k2, k1 has to be equal to k2. So if g is 1 over 1, and that is given that g is 1 over 1, g is 1 over 1 is given. Thus, we can say that the, this part that is k1 or f x1, those are same. I'm assuming this is k1, right? k1 is equal to f x1. So this part will be equal to this part so f of x1 will be equal to f of x2 now since f is also 1 over 1 and f of x1 is equal to f of x2 this implies x1 is equal to x2 so we have got x1 is equal to x2 and that is what we were supposed to prove if you want to prove that g of f is 1 over 1 so g of is 1 over 1 correct and one more thing i want to notice is we have solved the question but just one thing i want to notice is G of f here is a to c. G of f you see is a to c. G of f is is not c to a. This is not why. If you see g of f, g of f is nothing but g of f is nothing but g of f x. Correct. So input to g is f x, and input to the first input x goes to function f and the function f for f function f the domain is a so it starts with a correct and then fx is b this input is given to function g this guy and then you get output as this c so your input was a and you get output as c please note it is not c to a it is a to c y because g o f is nothing but g of fx and if you see the x x is nothing but my a this is the input that goes the first input is x and this x is nothing but a thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more
Thanks once again.